Listen, Judith Lanster and Nina Fenley, those two ladies are a must, you hear me? The guys you can hire any old schmucks for. Just do what it takes to get those two on board. But, but, but sir, you're talking about two of the biggest stars in the business. There's no way we could book one of them, let alone both. You can and you will. You're a pro, aren't you? Yeah, act like one. Screw the budget and set the schedule on fire if you have to. As long as we've got Judith and Nina, we can sort it all out later. If anything goes awry, I'll take full responsibility. So don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> Just go out there and get it done. Sir, I don't think a can-do attitude is going to cut it for this. Well, someone's as passionate as ever. Ha-ha! <laughs> Prince Shereed! Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Clearly I brought on the right man for the job. I can already tell that this film festival of ours is going to be one for the history books. And not just the festival itself. The parade seems to be shaping up to be even more exciting than I imagined. <laughs> your event's in good hands, your highness. I'll make this film festival hotter than anything they ever put on in Messeldom if it's the last thing I do. People don't want pomp and circumstance. They won't touch that crap with a ten-arch pole. No, what matters in movies is entertainment. I'm talking F and V. F***ing and violence, baby! Director, I believe it would be more appropriate to call it a scintillating spectacle, yes? Whoops! Slip of the tongue! <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, please restrain yourself. Ah, speaking of which, my dear Najee, I don't suppose I could persuade you to take part in our humble parade, could I? Your talent is otherworldly! It'd be a waste not to put it to good use. Yes, that it would be. What say you, Najee? If you wish, you may. My prince, if you get carried away, I won't hesitate to report you to your sister. Ah, well, that won't be necessary. It was a jest, I assure you. Isn't that so, Mr. Gotti? Now, about the other candidates. Give me a break. Just how long will those two keep up that nonsense? Gotti's popularity makes him a useful asset. But he and that prince are nearly impossible to control. Ah, well. The film festival has made it this far. Might as well use it to expand our market share and... <laughs> of all the times, why now? I read the report on Longport. For such a complicated series of events, it was impressively digestible. Your remote management of the situation was superb as always, Kincaid. You flatter me. Originally, I'd intended to travel there myself. Unfortunately, with a certain A-rank bracer operating within Heiyue territory, such a trip became infeasible. Which led you to play your wild card in order to gain control. A wise decision. Doing so kept our sleeper agent stationed there out of trouble. I'm curious. Is he another longtime friend of yours, like that Bracer? I'd describe him more as a curse I can't be rid of. Interesting. I heard he worked behind the scenes of Operation Meal Mirage as well. Speaking of Arkride solutions, can I get another update on their status? I'm curious to learn about their latest addition. As you wish. I'll have one of my subordinates deliver it to you later. On that note, I'll be taking my leave. If you'll excuse me, Chief Ruran. Of course. Keep up the good work. Quite a talented and driven man, that one. He may be a little too eager to take matters into his own hands at times, but... I can't fault a young upstart for being ambitious. Still, the question remains as to how the society is linked to both the Republic and Almada. Seeing as help will be arriving, perhaps it's time I reach out for a little... Catching up. I 
hope you're not getting a cold. <laughs> yeah, probably just a certain lady talking about me somewhere. Back on topic, what were you saying, Alvis? Oh, right. Just that we have more threats to keep our eyes on than just the usual suspects in the society. Namely, that group that defeated the Eisenshield unit. While they aren't part of Almada, per se, the two groups seem related. Agreed. Though judging by the Almada executives that appeared in Longport, we'll have our hands full with them alone. That said, I do agree we'll need to add the group Melchior originally came from to our watch list. Not to mention all the potential interlopers from the East. All the while, the CID shows no interest in sharing information. Those guys have only gotten stingier with time. And something tells me there's more to it than wanting to save face. I have the same feeling. So for the time being, we're on our own. Not quite. We can always call in a certain Spriggan for backup. Why do you insist on relying on that criminal for help? I protest as well, Jin. I'm more inclined to send you to get information out of the CID for us. Why don't you invite your master's daughter to dinner? You were students together, as I recall. I'm sure you two have a lot to talk about. Have mercy on me. Man, you used to be such a softy. How'd you get so tough? I owe it to years of training. By the way, my suggestion just now wasn't a joke. You are well acquainted with her. She once worked for the Guild, and she has the former president's confidence, too. We'd get a lot more out of her than my old friend at the CID. You do have a point. Hmm. You mean the Flying Swallow, right? Ah, you made it! Has it already been a year? And did you get taller? Somehow, yeah. I think I'm done growing, though. You're that Ace Bracer from the Empire, right? I suppose. The name is Fee Clausel. Starting today, I'll be working with you all here in Calvert. Okay, that's enough of that. Good job being intimidating and all, but it's way too early for all this damn noise. That's where you're wrong. Oh, nice. I got a clear shot of your face, too. Look, dude, I get you're a lone shark, but aren't death threats pushing it a bit? Don't worry. I'm not saying you should let your debtor off the hook, though. How about you lower his interest rate closer to what the big three banks give? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. What'll it be? Job's done. Now pay this guy already so we can be done with this. This isn't a charity, man. If I have to be the mediator, then I'm not playing favorites. You get me? That's a wrap. What do you think? Thought you'd screwed it up like three times there. really did great, though. Mission accomplished, as far as I can tell. I wish it could have been solved without intimidation, but I'm at least glad both sides came to an agreement. Did you ever have to handle situations like this in Longport, by any chance? Sure did. Shit like this happens everywhere. Only difference is that the crooks in Longport play it safer because they don't want the hammer of Heiyue coming down on them. Interesting. I'm not sure how to respond to that. 
So what's the verdict, Chief? Did I pass the test? <sighs> Kills me a little to say this, but you did good. But I've got my eye on you. Botch a job, I'll kick your ass to the curb, you hear? Please, have a little faith in me. I'll be taking care of your old ass and the girls before you know it. Heads up, though. I'm a heartbreaker, so don't go falling in love with me. <laughs> uh, he's serious, isn't he? That last comment aside, welcome to the team. Don't worry, I'm not interested in you at all. But I am looking forward to improving your fighting skills. Your form is a little too loose. You talk a big game, small fry. My name's actually Farida. Oh, but I also go by Fairy if you like that. Eh, I'll call you whatever I want. Hmm. <sighs> this guy. <laughs> I think the office is going to be quite a bit livelier from here on. You're telling me. <sighs> what happened to my rough and tumble lone wolf image? Uh... Can't you at least pretend I'm a little cool? Oh, <laughs> I never thought otherwise. Anyway, it's almost 10. May as well head back to the office for now. Works for me. We can swing by Monmar for an early lunch. The food's good and all, but I need me some more of that hot piece of a waitress. Please don't bother, Paul Ed. Though, I will agree that the food is delicious. The cream stew we had last night was delicious! So, you want to go out for a drink or two tonight, Paulette? <laughs> you really shouldn't tease your elders, Aaron. Hey! You leave Mommy alone! This brat's something else. I kind of feel like she's just brushing him off, though. Yeah, first day on the job and I get picked over the chicks. What an honor. <laughs> Don't feel too special. I'm just making sure you aren't slacking on the job. Dawdling and buy something. Stay out of trouble now.
All right. Say, why not take some flowers with you? Taking off now. Want me to tell you a little about this district? <sighs> On second thought, I don't think you need me to. Nope. I've got a pretty good lay of the land as of yesterday. Oh, this place is so soothing. Uh, what'll it be? Come again. I've yet to release any details, but as with previous Well, where'd you next? Now, what's it say? Let's do this. A droplet of paradise can intoxicate more than the sweetest of wines. Discover the inebriating world. How about some nice cold ice cream? Sober curious. Did you see? There's a new movie! Hello. Thank you. Hey, hey. Oh. This feels great. See the movie. Fans are raving about. Get the brilliantly bitter taste of golden blood. Now what's it say? A droplet of paradise can intoxicate more than the sweetest of wines. Discover the inebriating world of On my way!
Now, what's it say? Let's do this. All right, time to hunt down that good old bulletin board. Do you need something? Please come again. Gonna eat something? Hey, welcome. Thanks, pal. Oh, I'm so in love with this brand. Welcome to Erland, sir. We have full confidence in our products. We await your next visit. Well... Now what's it say? Let's hurry up and finish this. On my way! <laughs> 